Hi, sweet babies. Romy is here. We are going to look at my altar. <laughs> um, I'm gonna explore my altar with you guys because that is something that you have asked for. So, we're in a new home. We are no longer on Brea. And it took me a while to get to a place that I liked my stuff at, but um, I think it's got a good vibe going on right now, so let's check it out. Okay, so there she is in all her glory. Got four full shelves going on here. Um, I'm gonna need a bigger I'm gonna need like a bookshelf soon, but that's okay. So let's see what's going on here. This is one of my prosperity candles that I just uh, started to burn. And I've got my favorite crystals up here. I believe I've got some crystal quartz, some tiger's eye. Some adventuring, all the faves. I've got my precious little cauldron. Um, I usually keep sage in there that I'm like trying to burn if I'm not keeping it in my little shell. There's my little Boyd's bear, and she protects everything, and I love her, so don't disrespect her, okay? There's my protecting eye. Thank you, Nina. Okay, so this is one of my faves. This is one of my calendars. Well, this is specifically for witches. <laughs> um, it's got just really cool stories. It's got spells on each month. Every day has got the moon phases, it's got a color of the day, it's got, um, it keeps track of all the new moons, full moons, the quarters, uh, which signs it's entering, it's good stuff. Um, and along with that I have my date book, and my moon sign date book. These are both 2018, this is 2018. In case that wasn't obvious <laughs> these are um, pretty crucial to my daily studies so if you would like to know where to get these you can always search Amazon search that name and you will find all kinds of cool stuff there's my little sign um, she changes often depending on what time of the year it is what season we're going through, um, what solstice it may be, if it's a full moon, whatever stuff I need to remember for the day or the week. That changes. I love that little board. Um, that gorgeous, gorgeous hunk. You can thank Nina for that one. You can thank Mike Wazowski for that one. And in case you didn't see him over there, King T'Challa is overlooking the altar. <laughs> That's real. Don't judge me. <laughs> he had to fight Killmonger for that, okay? Leave him alone. I'm sorry, where were we? Okay. So, second shelf. So there's lots of goodies in that guy. Shout out to the muffins. You guys sent me that one. There's lots of cool stuff in this little guy too. Um, again, shout out to the muffins. And then someone special sent me these guys from Disneyland, and I'm obsessed with them, and they were like a, you know, welcome to your new home gift, a housewarming gift, and I'm so in love with them. So, those guys are really sweet. I love them. They're a wonderful addition. Geodes upon geodes. Because who doesn't love earth? Shiny things that grow out of the ground, right? 
my sweet little fountain. My little moon guy back there, taking care of things, watching from the back. A bunch of good books. Uh, let's see, I got some candle magic, herbal magic, crystal spells, um, a book on your book of spells, <laughs> like what you should be putting in there. Um, my crystal encyclopedia. My personal little book of spells is that guy right there. He's very special. I got him from a museum. He means a lot to me, so he stays on the altar. Um, this is my tarot deck. I have not really gotten as much into my tarot deck as I would like to. I really, 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 really want to start pursuing that, so bug me and remind me, okay? Um, this fantastic book that my best friend got for me, if you are interested in um, ways to live a more holistic life as a female I highly suggest looking into this bad boy energy medicine for women um, and that secret little book underneath it is also full of more secret stuff um, I'm just joking there's not like that much secret stuff I'll show you what's in here hold on okay so in this one there's like a bunch of chakra stones a bunch of stones that I haven't figured out and labeled yet so I still have to like identify those um, so that's like a special moonstone and a special crystal quartz that I just like keep aside and Then that guy has just a lot of sage <laughs> That's why it's in that bag so and then in here there's like um, there's actually old vintage stuff from the um, witches of my past because I come from a family of witches so books get passed on so they're hiding in that book and you can't see them because they're really fragile <laughs> moving on okay so that sweet little tiger uh, is a very special tiger that was my Nana's um, and she let me have it so that represents her on my shelf of goodies um, the these are really 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 cool books i've got a coloring book of shadows i've got a witch's coloring book um i've got my like sketchbook it's a blank sketch huge pentagram on it um my dream book and my modern magic book but i want to show you some of these guys because they're really cool so the cutest coloring pages are in here Earth, my favorite, magic. Uh, yeah, this is a super rad book, like I said. Um, it's got all of the equinoxes, all of the solstices, everything we celebrate as witches. I mean, could you get any freaking cuter? The wheel of the year. Like, come on, bro. This is so cute. Look at that. So, yeah. This is a really cool book. This is also a really cool coloring book. It's just got just awesome, awesome images. I just flipped through these. I haven't even started coloring any of these yet because I just flipped through them and look at all of them. I just pretend I'm coloring them. <laughs> um, that bad boy, um, they're battling back there, so I just let them stay to their business and I try and keep the wall of books protecting them. There's my deadly nightshade jar, full of deadly nightshade, obviously. We've got a book of magic which is basically just more crystals and the geode that I got from Knott's Berry Farm that I have to like shine up so you can see all the pretty stuff underneath it because you can't see how pretty it is but yeah more crystals shocker and the bottom shelf is just where I keep like the candle trays and this big bad boy of sage this is from a actual native sage bush that's grown for decades um, a very special 
friend gave this to me so I appreciate you if you are watching this and I use this all the time and I still have a huge chunk as you can see I will be very sad when it starts to run low I just saged before I started to film there's some candle progress down there uh, yeah so that's the altar in all her glory I've got a few more crystals that I keep a little bit closer to my workspace. Um, I have amethyst and moonstone. My sweet little lamp. And then just some of my favorite art pieces for some inspiration. This really cool amethyst tree was given to me also by a muffin slash Romy homie and I'm obsessed with her. She's so damn cute. Some more artwork to inspire me. Inspiration, inspiration. Baby Moana. My favorite painting that I've probably ever done that I couldn't even sell because I'm so obsessed with it. Maybe I'll do a print of her and see if anyone wants to buy it. But yeah, that is my special space. There's me, the Virgo queen, overlooking the house, as always. There she is. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know I didn't go too in depth, but I've shown most of that stuff in my other altar video. There wasn't too many new things. But if there is anything that you would like me to go through, by all means, leave me a comment, let me know, and we can go exploring in anything in my altar. I really, really, really wanna thank anybody that has sent me anything that is a part of my altar. Um, altars are a very, very sacred place of yours. Um, things that are very important belong on your altar, so if you saw anything that you sent to me up on my altar, um, please know that I do that with all the love of my heart and it really is that special to me to put it on my altar So thank you for thinking of me to send me cool things to keep up here and um, yeah. yeah, so I hope you guys like that. Thank you very much for always Joining me on all of my witch adventures and any other Romy adventures that we go on um Again, let me know if you have any other questions, what else you guys want me to explore, what part of this world are you interested in, what else would you like to talk about. Let me know. And please don't ever forget, if nobody loves you, Romy loves you. Bye, babes.